Donna Hain recipe, but I change it not to make it better, just different. Um, because I like different types of gingerbread. So I'm going to loosely go off this recipe, but it will probably not be exactly the gingerbread recipe you'll find in Donna Hay's cookbook. And I've made it that many times. That is literally all I've written down is what I need and how much of it. The reason I wanted to make this and film this is because it's just that good. Like gingerbread is the easiest thing to make and it is the yummiest Christmas thing and it doesn't matter whether you live in a hot country or a cold country or anything. It's delicious. So what you'll need, you'll need two and a half cups of plain flour, you'll need two thirds of a cup of golden syrup, you'll need half a cup of brown sugar, then you'll need cinnamon, nutmeg and some unsalted butter. So. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is beat 125 grams of butter and half a cup of brown sugar. Now, the recipe says that you should beat for 10 minutes, but I think I would be, like, seriously overdoing it if this was on for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to see how it goes. But we'll see what it's supposed to look like. So once it gets to light, creamy, and no sugar granules are recognisable anymore, that's how you know you're beaten. Pretty sure. Ish. Now what I realized I didn't I didn't tell you is that you do need to preheat the oven so it needs to be like 160 perfect and then you're gonna wait for this to be creamy and then you're gonna need your sifter and your flour because that's the next step it'll be really nice this bowl is so big this looks like nothing in the bottom but it's fine um, it'll be really creamy and light the next thing you're gonna do is sift in your flour which will be two and a half cups If there's one thing I've learnt the most um, about baking, probably not so much cooking. I don't know as much about like savoury things as I probably do baking, but the biggest thing I've learnt is that people make a really big deal out of things that aren't a really big deal. For example, this gingerbread recipe, so it's practically foolproof. As well as as long as you follow like the absolute must and get them right like beating the uh, butter and sugar until it's creamy and soft and all of that sifting the flour in, mixing everything using plain flour, not self-raising flour because self-raising flour will cause the um, cookies to crack on top so if you want to like decorate your gingerbread then that makes it difficult but they taste the same they obviously are just a bit lighter than normal gingerbread maybe um, but yeah if it's taught me anything is people make a really big deal out of things that aren't that big of a deal definitely for some baking like as soon as you get into complex cakes and the 
different desserts and different like complex things, it's super intense and that is definitely where you need to be exact, but not with gingerbread. I mean, And you're going to add golden syrup, two thirds of a cup. And now that we've beaten it, it's literally just like mix it all together. It's so simple. It's kind of like one step uh, cupcakes where you just beat the, beat the butter and sugar and then add everything else. Like it's super, super simple. And then you get to the fun part of rolling out the dough. I make gingerbread so much over Christmas and often it's like not even at my own house like when I go to someone else's house or definitely when I go back to mum and dad's house I'm always like oh let's just make gingerbread um just because it's like an instant snack I love it now what you want to do is you're forming your dough sometimes if you put if you're dough isn't sticking together and it's probably because you put too much flour in or some oh I forgot sorry I just saw these and remembered I don't put ginger in my gingerbread ironically I actually put cinnamon and nutmeg because I prefer those flavors over ginger so I don't not like ginger but I prefer gingerbread to be like that more festive flavors than just ginger Make sure you get all like the excess stuff from around the edge and your bowl will be nice and clean. And then we are going to start to roll it out. This is the part where it tastes the best. Mm. And because gingerbread doesn't have raw egg in it, it sort of gives you the illusion that you can just eat as much as you want. But it will still make you feel sick and you won't want your gingerbread when they're actually done. If you have a particularly sticky dough, like it's just turned out stickier than it feels like it should, like mine is feeling, don't be afraid to add more flour because the reason it's sticky is probably because there wasn't quite enough flour to begin with. So the flour just really brings it all together.
now that these are all done, I'm gonna wrap the extra dough. I was just gonna keep rolling them, but then I ran out of place on the tray and I realized we're not gonna eat that many gingerbread before they go gross because there's only two people in this house. Well, they might. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think we will. So I am going to just roll this up in some glad wrap and then I will roll it out maybe in a couple of days, probably on the weekend and just have some fresh gingerbread. When it comes to popping your gingerbread on your tray, the best part about gingerbread is the size you cook your cookie, that's what you're getting. Um, it doesn't rise, well it shouldn't rise, it doesn't expand, it doesn't do anything like that. It literally cooks because it's um, plain flour, not self-raising flour, it doesn't actually grow. So you can squish them on in that sense and then we'll put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. I'll know once they're done. I'll know how long I've had them in. I'm gonna clean that up and also probably clean everything that is in the sink. That's just a general mess. All right, it's time to take these out of the oven. They've been in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. It really just depends on your oven and how you want them to turn out. But these, as you can see, they're a really nice color, but they're not actually burnt. So they're quite, I don't know if you can see, oh, they're so hot. They're quite squishy still, which means they're gonna um, like cool, really soft and perfect gingerbread. So that is it, I'm gonna eat them. I don't do much to them because I really love them the way they are, but you can just do icing sugar and hot water, really tiny bit of water in a bowl of icing sugar, mix that up and it creates kind of like an icing, kind of like what's on top of danishes. If you wanna do that, that makes it white, we can have food coloring, but I'm just gonna eat them like this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have and if there's anything else that you want me to cook this Christmas. I mean, maybe not anything else, like medium to, no, easy to medium things, and I'll give it a go.